okay so today we're going to know we're going to learn about the um, how to calculate this uh, resistance of this unknown resistance wire by using carry forces bridge so first of all you should know how to set up the um, uh, circuit so uh, i'm going to tell you in brief about how you can set up the circuit but you have to take the help from your manual as well so uh, let's see at the manual first um here you can see the gap one two three and four so uh, the gap one is here in the circuit the gap one is this one uh, we've already um, put this plate right here we said so this is the first gap one this one is the second this one is the third and this one is the fourth so what you can see here is that uh, you've got a resistance of x between uh, in the gap one so uh, firstly I'll tell you where to put uh, these resistance when we uh, talk about the table. So firstly, you need to know uh, what uh, these all mean. So uh, this one, Z, is the galvanometer, which is right here, okay? And uh, this one is the source. So the source means uh, from where you can get the power supply. So this one is right here, fine? And uh, here, this Y, this Y is the variable resistance. So uh, from where you can get the variable resistance is this box. This is the resistance box. And should I explain? Uh, I should explain the how you can get the variable resistance from here. Then uh, you should have a closer look to it. So this one uh, gives you the resistance a variety of 0 0.1 ohms, uh, right? And this one will give you uh, 10 ohms. Uh, 1 ohms and this one will give you 10 ohms i mean that uh, if you if you um, move this cursor from 0 to 1 you'll getting you'll be getting a uh, resistance of 0 0.1 ohm okay and uh, likewise if you, if you move this cursor from 0 to 1 in this in this part you'll be getting a variety of resistance of 1 ohm and likewise here you'll be getting a resistance variety of 10 ohm so in this experiment you not be you not be wanting uh, the variety of uh, 10 or 1 ohm just you, you'll just need the variety of 0 0.1 uh, in the range of 0 0.1 ohm so we'll be using only this we'll be using only this cursor right by uh, setting these two cursors at zero so let me explain the setup of the circuit so firstly let's go according accordingly uh, in the first uh, gap you'll be putting a uh, zero, res zero resistance wire or some something like that so we've got a plate right here which has got a zero resistance uh, so we'll be we'll be putting this in the first gap like this you can use your arms gently so this is done right now in the uh, in the plate between the first and the second gap we'll be joining the source right here you can see right here so we'll be joining the source so what we are going to be using is this wire we're going to be using this wire and uh, by the help of this wire we'll be connecting this plate with the source fine so let's put the source right here since this is the source right so we'll be putting this here and the other end of the wire right here this is here and this is by this this is not this thank you thank so you've connected this part accordingly to the manual with the source right uh, this is not the only part which is being connected to the source another part uh, is going to be connected from the plate between the third and fourth cap so this one is the plate and it means you have to um, join this plate also to the to the source so what we're going to do is that we're going to take another wire we're going to place it here right here you can place here as well uh, or here as well because uh, these two are the similar points right so if you, if you have to create a resistance uh, sorry if you have to create a power in this plate so uh, you can put this wire either here or here according to your will so we're going to put in here like this another wire again to the source fine this one the output source so we've got a setup which has joined the source with the circuit 
now what we have to do is now we have to connect this B point with the galvanometer as seen in the manual so what we are going to do is that we are going to point, connect the point B and where is the point B then the point B is between the second and the third gap means the second and the third gap the point is B is right here so we are going to join uh, the point B with the galvanometer <laughs> so, <laughs> so the galvanometer, uh, we're going to join it to the galvanometer. <laughs> so this is how it works, right? And the, and another thing, since we have joined this to the galvanometer, then uh, we're going to... Uh, so we've known how we join the point B with the galvanometer, now we're going to be learning how we join the jockey to the circuit right so what we know is that the jockey is joined always to the ground voltage so uh, where we can get the ground voltage in the galvanometer is that uh, is this point right the zero or the zero resistance the zero ampere point this is the ground voltage right so we're going to be joining this jockey right here uh, this jockey to that point like this And this is almost, uh, I guess it's... So, this is joined right here. Now I guess we have completed the setup here. Uh, no, not really. Why? Because we have not completed, uh, we have um, joined this resistance box with the circuit, right? This is not the resistance box anyway. So how we can join the resist resistance box to the circuit is we can just take two wires right and then uh, we can connect these two terminals with these two terminals right. So we can do just this. As you can see in the manual, you have got a variable resistance in the gap 4. So we are joining this resistance box from where we can get the variable resistance in this gap 4. If, if you have any sorts of problems, you can just check out the manual and get the idea, right? So now we've already completed the setup and now we're going to the observation table right now. So, Right here, we've got a balance point with Y0 in the right gap and X0 in the left gap, right? So, this means we have to put both the X and Ys, means this one and this one, 0, and find out the uh, balance point, means we have to slide the jockey in this wire and find out the balance point. Firstly, I guess we have to... <laughs> on the circuit firstly then uh, we have to slide the wire like this slide the jockey no it's not so we were talking about how to take the reading uh, right here in the observations so uh, the balance point with y0 in the right cap and x0 in the left cap right here um, in the x in the, uh, in the left cap we've already kept x0 as this plate has zero resistance now we have got to keep the y0 means uh, if we keep all of these courses in the zero position then obviously we will get a zero resistance right here so uh, we've got this then uh, we have to calculate x it is the uh, balance point we can get from the galvanometer so we should slide this jockey uh, in the wire and calculate the balance point so like this if the course stops at zero that is calculated as a balance point right here we've got the point where the corset has stopped at zero in the galvanometer means this is the balance point when you keep x and y zero so uh, what we can do is that we just uh, get a scale and uh, get the reading from here right so it's uh, approximately 52 or 53 uh, so you just it's uh, you can calculate it right uh, same is the case in this one as well 
you have to keep y zero in the left gap x zero in the right gap means you have just got to interchange you've just got to interchange this one and this one then you can just um, follow the same method and get the balance point right so we've uh, so we've got the uh, we've calculate we have to calculate the uh, correction right so what how we can calculate is that uh, we can just get the values and we can just uh, subtract it and we'll get the values right now we can uh, go to the observation table so we've got uh, here what we've got are the number of observations you know that uh, x is kept at zero resistance right so what do you mean by zero resistance it can be it can be got it can be got from uh, this resistance box as well and from that plate as well or uh, we can i think it's better to get a zero resistance from this resistance plate so we put uh, this resistance plate right here in the gap one as x which is zero and for the y for the y we've got this resistance box right here from where we can get the variable resistance uh, right here in the gap four so uh, let's go to the observation table so uh, by keeping x at zero we've already kept that we are going to vary the resistance to 0 0.1 so how can you do is that i've already told you um, if we if we move this cursor from 0 to 1 it will give you a variable resistance of 0 0.1 right so you would be uh, moving this cursor to 1 so we've got a resistance of 0 0.1 it's right here so this is done now what we're gonna do what we're gonna do is that we're gonna slide this chalky like this to get the balance point like this yeah the cursor if it stops at zero it is the balance point we can calculate from here it's approximately 52 right so uh, you can calculate it uh, and yeah you can put the reading right here so you're going to be doing the same again but what you're going to do is that uh, you have to keep the right gap uh, with the variable resistance means uh, you can you can just interchange this and this right you have to put this plate right here and this resistance box to there so you'll be, you'll be getting uh, and you'll be doing the same process again means you'll be sliding the and getting the balance point so you'll be getting the reading and you'll be putting it right here so he can just calculate all the other things right here by getting these two data uh, I guess you you have okay uh, let me talk about another as well like um, in the another observation you'll be putting this resistance at zero means it's already put at zero so we have uh, we should not do anything we should not make any changes right here but what we have is that we've got a variable resistance of 0 0.2 in this y part so what we're going to do is that we're going to change this cursor from 1 to 2 as we've got a resistance of 0 0.2 right here right 0 0.2 right here which is going to be equal to here so we've got a resistance of 0 0.2 at y part we're going to repeat the same process by sliding the jockey getting the balance point again uh, for the right gap we're going to be in interchanging the resistance box and the plate we're going to be doing the same process sliding the jockey and balancing getting the balance point uh, one thing you should know you should keep in mind while sliding jockey is that you should not be uh, moving the jockey like this you know for getting the balance point you should not be moving the jockey like this as it will break the uniformity of the you know uh, the resistance of the wire so uh, what you should do is you just uh, slide the jockey like this and get the balance point right so we've got uh, we've got the values uh, we've uh, we know the how to get the values uh, in this table so let's talk about another table it's also the same uh, now what we have to do is that we had kept in the first table we had kept x zero means we had kept the plate copper plate uh, in that first gap means uh, gap one but now we're going to be taking out this gap uh, taking out this plate right why because we'll be uh, putting an unknown resistance wire there since our objective is to find the resistance of the unknown resistance wire we'll be we'll be putting this wire right here in this x gap so this has got some resistance we don't know right now we have to calculate it so like this and we've put the resistance wire and now uh, in the y in the y this this is the variable resistance which you can get from this resistance box as i've already told you the same process will be repeated and 
and again you'll be sliding the jockey getting the balance point riding it here again you will be interchanging this resistance box and the resistance wire in gap 1 and 4 you will be sliding the jockey getting the balance point riding it here you will be varying the resistance to the resistance box again you will be repeating the same process now then you can get all these values right here right uh, the shift means l1 minus l2 you can get it and the corrected shift uh, right and the delta l you have already calculated it so you've already you will get all these values right so uh now you have to calculate mean oh, obviously you know how to calculate mean you should uh, add all these and divide it by five likewise you will be calculating mean x and what you are going to do is finally the value of the given unknown resistance was found to be the, the given unknown resistance would be x so this is how you'll be calculating the unknown resistance by using the Cate Foster's Prince. Oh, <laughs>